Hi guys. Hello guys. Welcome to Off Trust today. Yeah. So how's it been today? Um, I can say I've been okay. It's been okay. Yeah. yeah. So how are you guys doing? If you're watching this, how are you? Are you fine? Okay, so we started today. Today we have an important topic to talk about, TJ. Yeah. You know, like, um, I take a look at the society mm -hmm. and the things that are really happening in the society today. Yeah. And I think, like, I mean, the modern society is um, a lot of the, the shaping of society comes from what is influencing the society and the people in the society, which is human beings like ours. So, and I feel like for us to be able to get a step further and something that we need to talk about, because it began to, I began to become more worried about it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, so I, I, I said, what are the current realities, current influencers in our generation? Yeah. And I began to think about relationship because okay. there are basic fundamental things that makes up um, a, that, that makes up a human being. All right. We'll talk about the health. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about relationship and then the financial life of everybody. Yeah. But today I'm more interested in that pillar called relationship and the influence, like the generational influence over that. So... What do you think? Let's 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 start let's set it up this way. What do you even think is influence? Um influence having power over or actually um directing the um notion or how a person thinks or acts. Okay. So it could be basically in our character, the way we speak the way we talk, the way we act in general. Okay. And um, so influence, is, influence can actually be something that, um, I don't want to use the word um, shapes, but it actually gives us more like a direction. So it's sort of um, just um, sort of saying, it's sort of shapes culture. Yeah, shapes how someone thinks or how someone acts. Yeah. Okay. Right? So today, like, I feel like um, our if, so if you're watching for the first time, this is Optures, yeah. and it's a place that we talk about entertainment and, and um, education. Education. Yeah. yeah. So uh, most importantly, um, uh, today my name is Precious, and my co-host is it's TJ. TJ. So we do this together often, and we try to actually express our intentions. But these are personal opinions that we share on this channel, and yeah. we hope that you can actually share yours on the comment section. Mm -hmm. All right, so TJ, moving ahead. Yeah. Now, let's talk about relationship. So let's talk about the current generational influence when it comes to relationship. Uh, for, I think the <laughs> major influence for relationship, relationship is it's a, it's a broad topic. So if we're talking about a boy and a girl relationship, a man and a woman rather, or we're talking about just friends relationship or family relationship, so... I would say one of the major influence today is the internet. Okay. Media. Uh, the influence of the internet? And the me and media. So why did you say that? Like, why? Um, the reason why I say that is that the world has gotten to a point where we see a lot of things. Okay. We absorb a lot of mm -hmm. information. Mm -hmm. And these informations, these informations are probably good or bad. Yeah. Both ways positive or negative mm -hmm. and that's kind of shapes the way people think or view things exactly so, i agree with that yeah for me i would say imagine you having a friend and you're having that entitled mentality to say oh because they were part of the yeah process. part of the process I, i'll be that but that's one that's what the society today has brought to us we've <laughs> seen a lot of people yeah, yeah. being entitled not just because they have that but yeah. it's just because what is being presented to yeah. them. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. Um, now, since you're starting from that pathway, yeah. that pathway um, I mean, like, because I've seen people who come into that state of saying, um, this person owe me this, you mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. And I'm sort of asking, do we still have genuine relationship or transactional relationships? Now, uh, can you, like, probably talk about transactional friendships? Um, transactional friendship, but I think... Not necessarily. We have genuine relationships. The people still understand the values, the core values of having a friend and how to um go about having a friend. Yeah. yeah. So I, I I can use myself as a person. I okay. Have, I have core friends that mm -hmm. I know I can um rely on yeah, regardless sure. of whatever I'm going yeah. through mentally or mm -hmm. physically. Um, even I'll say to some extent financially. Mm -hmm. So, but that doesn't mean that I'm entitled to how they should act 
so uh, probably I need something or I need your attention, then um immediately you should give it to me. No, that's not what I that's sorry. But the internet has given us a lot of information. So you see people would not even understand what relationship really means. Yeah. They can probably carry a mic or type yeah. a, a quote and you yeah. read all these things and you put it into you. Yeah. And you think that's the norm. Like um sort of that the internet is like a dumping ground. So yeah. I have this one of my friends who always say that internet is where people are that are non satisfied mm -hmm. and don't even know anything. Yeah. Just you know sell their ideology and their belief system. Now, yeah. TJ, I want to lift you off from this place of friendship. Mm. Let's get to relationship now. Oh, okay. Let's get to a relationship that has to do with a male and a female having a relationship mm. that we're looking at. Okay, we're talking about maybe dating, courting, or marriage, mm -hmm. whichever one we call it. So, like, there have been things that we have discussed even off off stage, and you talked about how some people look at influencers. Because they said it can be positive or negative. Now, tell me more. Like, tell the audience. What do you think about that? Okay. For relationship, it's like, in this generation, yes. like I said, the media propagates a lot of things. Not necessarily propagating, but we have a lot of information. Back then, before you're going to learn something, you probably have to read a love novel, read something that's really factual, or maybe fictional, but... There is content. To yeah, sure, more. sure. Now, society has grown so large, but mm -hmm. in a small community, yeah. where you see the negatives that being portrayed as the norm. Mm. So, for instance, in relationship where um, people should come together okay. and understand each other's flaws mm -hmm. and work on that and work together. But the society has painted it, oh, once push comes to shove, throw it in the air. Once yeah. push comes to shove, you know, I can't do this. And we don't see people who are willing to fix things. I was reading a mm. book. Yeah, I was reading a book. Amazing, where, amazing. Where the man mm. said, the difference between my generation and your generation is that if something gets bad, we fix it. Amazing. So if a clock gets bad, I fix it. Yeah. But in this generation, oh, it's not working. You're just chucking it a bean. And go to I'll the go next and get a new one because it's, now, it's easy. This brings me to mind because I once watched a movie. I think I think they called the movie The Fixer. Oh, okay. I think it's sort of a Nigerian Nollywood movie. Oh, yeah. I can I remember. So it, it's just like a play where this woman comes in. I mean, people get things messy and this woman comes in to, to fix things. All right. But I, I love what you said because um, I have seen some certain influencers online who share this ideation that marriage is like going to win the shop. Mm. You know, sort of, sort of in the shopping, not in the shopping, equal, where you just go get a girlfriend and then when things are not working, you sign a divorce paper, you move on and you choose another one, you know. So um, this has really um, created a kind of, you know, belief systems in the younger generation. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. what do you think about that? Where when it comes to that particular aspect in terms of relationship? Rel relationship, I think, when it comes to re relationship, that that's... Um, I mean, what people get on that internet, what they watch... No, like I said, it's it's sad. Even though the internet is a powerful tool... We Very good tool. Mm -hmm. Like I can say, the other, with the other side of the internet, you can learn good things there. Useful blogs, mm -hmm. the useful mm -hmm. um, podcasts or mm -hmm. quotes that one can actually learn to impact yourself, you know? But the narrative, the common now is that we um take the negative stuff in this generation mm -hmm. and make them norm so for wow. instance you amazing see, mm -hmm. you see things like people not being committed oh my goodness say that again that's, yeah. that's a good one mm -hmm. people not giving their best mm -hmm. now relationship is both ways we have our bad traits. The other person has their bad traits. They, likewise, they have their good traits. And likewise, the other person has it. But when people understand and say, okay, you know what? I love this person. Because you just can't jump into something without love. Sure. You know? Mm -hmm. But the internet does it like, you know what? I got people on my DMs. Yeah. Yeah. I got options. Yes. There are lots yeah. of options. 
and yeah. it's so easy to just Discard go you. on yeah. one of these um, dating apps and get and just someone do your thing. So yeah. there is no core value. We don't value relationships. We don't value um, bonds. We don't value people. We take feelings. We take people's emotions as just transactional um, objects. Like, you know what? If you don't treat me this way, or maybe you're going through this, and um, if it doesn't, if it doesn't look like this, if it doesn't look like the ideal celebrity lifestyle, or um, you're splurging, like you said, I think we were talking about finance the other day. You're splurging, or you don't fit a certain standard, or you don't act a certain way. Then it's over. Yeah, you know. Then and we just yeah. we're just gonna trade away. But yeah. no one wants to see that. You know, when you come into someone's life, mm-hmm. you don't leave it the way you it, you, it you is, met yeah. it. You understand? Yep. You yeah. impact people. So, so in other words, like I mean, what people the ideation of relationship that this influences. Uh, by the way, we have the good ones and we have the bad ones. Yeah. But it's also good to have constructive criticism over yeah. these things because, um, like when we talk about that that sort of relationship. So you know, we're coming from a place of what everything you're saying. I'm saying like the 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 people and the internet sometimes are selling selfishness. Yeah, because and you can use that word selfish. Yeah, because yes. because because nowadays, for instance, I I heard a story. Okay, mm-hmm. it's a true life story. I heard about it, and I I I saw I saw I followed the storyline, and I began to understand what you're saying, how it influences. So there was this. Took up, there was this couple, they just got married and all of yeah. that. And the woman was like somebody who just, you know, looks at some certain celebrities on the internet. Mm-hmm. Now, these things were things that we find out after they met a therapist. Mm. So the woman said she began to compare her marriage, her relationship with what she's seen online. Yeah. Her husband was a, was a good man, gave her everything. Mm-hmm. They were just like this family of saying, we, we are content, but we keep improving. Do you understand? Because I think we'll talk about that in the, in the next few minutes about contentment and in, mm. in terms of relationship. Now, do you know that at the end of the day, they, they, she nearly lost her marriage oh, okay. just because she goes to the internet or whether it's social media or something and she's following some influencer. You know, one of my friends always says something I like so much. He would say something that somebody is an influencer does not mean that they are right. That somebody is a celebrity. Two million followers does not make them right in every subject matter. Yeah. So we have to view them from a very good perspective. You understand? So, but at the end of the day, she nearly lost her marriage. And it took the grace of God for her to come to her senses and detach herself, knowing that the internet is a space where you have to actually, you know, be able to see, filter the things that you receive, because there are still good stuff out there, you understand? But you have to know, this is for me. This is not for me, you understand? This is relatively not for me, you understand? So it really helped her out when she saw the therapist. Yeah, um, speaking of the internet, like we, we've we indulged in things like um, the negative, yeah? Yeah. And I, still, and I still feel like the internet, in quotes, is a good place. Very good. But the society tend to get it misconstrued. Yes. So you see the celebrities, these influencers, like we said, like yeah. normal influencer yes. word now. It's like they promote this image. Like we don't care. Yes. Just do it. Yeah. Just good. But at the end of the day, you go back and see their lifestyle. It's probably not like that. <laughs> I can't speak for anyone. But you see, <laughs> you see, the celebrities are selling their image. Yeah. Imagine you coming online, maybe two big powerhouses coming together and there's always something on the internet about them and the man is speaking yeah. and the, like, there's always something going back to their image, mm-hmm. increasing their popularity. Yes. Oh, that's what happened to this ably celebrity. Sure. Guy. But the common man would see you like, mm, mm-hmm. you know what? Yeah. My man cannot do this to me. Yeah. Um, because you're not doing this. Yes. You know, you know, there's even a norm now, like where women would or men would um want to go into a relationship and they'll be asking questions like, How much do you make? How much like so many things that when you think about it, people don't go for love anymore. People go for status. People hmm. go for So let me ask you a question while we're saying that. So when you say people don't go for love anymore and people go for status, I understand that we're talking about 
Guys, if you're joining this show right now, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And we're talking about the current generational influence in our generation. And we're looking at relationship. And we're looking at relationship as it has to do with many things. And that includes money, um, internet, and all of that. So, TJ, uh, back to you again. Yeah. So, I want to ask you this question. When you talked about, <laughs> when you talked about, I mean, I mean um, what you just said right now. Yeah. So, what do you mean by status and love? So the mm. women or men marry because it's good, it goes both ways. Yeah, yeah it's both ways. So yeah, sure, do ways, women or men women. date or marry a man because or marry a woman because of status or love? In this generation, to be yeah, honest, based I'll, on what be, I'll be frank: is that when I mean status, I don't mean only financial status. Some people are going through emotional pains that they know that. They just need to patch with someone because that person fits the book can actually that moment. taking their their bullshit sorry to to cause and um status not necessarily finance like i said yeah let me put it yeah. not necessarily yeah. how much you make yes yes but people then now see this and say okay you know what what is it for me to gain in this mm -hmm. that's what i want Mm -hmm. I like her because she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I like him because he has six packs. Uh -huh. Or I like him because he's in flesh. Oh, he's mm -hmm. good looking and yeah. all that. Mm -hmm. But you're not looking at the person's soul. You're yeah. not looking at, mm -hmm. what am I going into this for? Yeah, sure. And while the why the world would be so messed up yes. is that we have a lot of people going through hearts. Because of what this generation and the influences of this generation, yes. people just break people yeah. and leave people. And what do you expect? Broken people will make more broken people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was telling you something about generational traumas mm. or in re and inherited traumas. Inherited traumas. Yeah. yeah. So um, most people live the life from what they've heard. Okay. Oh, my auntie went through this. All yes. men are the same. Yes. All men are this. Yes. All men are that. So, yeah. people tend to carry hurt that is not that's not theirs. Yeah. And they put it into someone else and make that person messed up. Mm -hmm. So we keep on having the chain keeps going. People keep hurting. Yeah. People keep and when are we going to call it enough? Is enough. Yeah. Enough is enough. The music we ingest, the videos we watch, the the idea, the ideas that this people put in us women um objectifying themselves men living below par you know it's what's affecting this generation yeah, yeah sure relationship is just something you know what i could throw it in the air i could do whatever i want to do i could i could i could do whatever i want to do come yes on, it's come your on, life come on i know yeah. i know it's your life sure. i understand it's mm -hmm. it's basically your life but Same good they thing, are man. principles yeah spitting they are principles our forefathers fail us in different ways, but yeah. there are things we should still emulate from After, them. Exactly. You know, exactly. love, relationship, friendship, family should be, cool. they should be standards. They should be standards. Mm -hmm. Now, talking about standards yeah. now, like, I mean, um, we've come from, um, like, we're building this conversation and it's heading somewhere. Yeah. All right. So, you're talking about the standard of relationship now. Yeah. You know, because I think, with the modern day advent of technology, I mm. mean, a young boy or young girl have access to the internet mm -hmm. and there's something they see. All right. Somebody said to me, oh, um, for instance, I love stories a lot. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, Bill Gates. Mm -hmm. Oh, as rich as he is, He's after right. all these things, finally got divorced. And he not said, and he not said, who am I not to get that divorce? Mm. I'm coming. Mm -hmm. Something I said, um, there's this other person again who got into um, who was celebrity, popular, Christian in quotes, uh, okay. and all of that. And this person, you know, just divorced someone mm -hmm. and married the person's best friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? So it was something like, you know, like a standard for those people. So the person is looking at this phone every day and he's saying, ah, I'm I'm following this person. This man is my model. Big is my model. This man is my model. And okay, they divorce right now, and they say it's part of my life. So it means that in my own Italian, in my own knowledge, in my own like bank knowledge bank, of course I can wake up one day and decide to say I'm not doing again. Whether it's a relationship or something or like that, they're gonna have that perspective. So what do you think about, you know, 
the canvas of our minds using the brush of this internet to paint it. So okay. what, how do you address that? I would state first, every human is different first. Yeah, let me, maybe um, understanding how the mind works. Mm -hmm. People have their traits. Come on, yeah. Mm -hmm. People have their, let me use the word demons. Mm. Now, what? Struggles. Yeah, their struggles. Mm -hmm. So it might be communication, mm -hmm. it might be personal mm -hmm. issues, mm -hmm. like you're going through your mental problems, mm -hmm. mental health problems, mm -hmm. you're going through financial mm -hmm. problems. Mm -hmm. um, you, um, there, are, there, there are cases where some men or women are not romantic mm -hmm. and they find themselves in a relationship mm -hmm. that the partner's mm -hmm. love language mm -hmm. is totally far from their love language. So there are different things. But what amplifies the, f the pro problems in this generation is what we see, mm -hmm. the information, the narrative. The narrative is like, oh, my money is my my money is my money. Your money, money is my money. money. Um, the narrative is like, do not um, yeah, do not trust the man. Um, you even they were saying oh, that now nah, you will go trust Adam. Uh, all men, all has men come. has come, you yeah. know. So the oh younger God. ones are seeing these things. People are seeing this thing. I'm like, okay, so that's true. And sometimes it's so close to home. The beautiful and annoyed but yeah, the, it's so close to home that you see. Oh my aunt, my brothers my brother is going through a heartbreak or my sister is going through a heartbreak or mommy left daddy yeah. or daddy left mommy yeah. and these things makes it so real because the media now says you know, the media now pushes it to our face yes it's not like back then when we were quietly to where you want to watch something you have to go probably to his friend's house or you have yeah. to go rent the movie yeah. or you, at the at the expense of your phone you can I can tell you the moment we're talking about relationship now yes the next hour on our on our social feeds, everything that comes out is your relationship. Yes. And this thing feeds your mind. Yes. Sometimes when you go through some things like you're emotionally down, mm -hmm. I think it's wise to turn off the internet for a while because it feeds your mind. It feeds your mind. I go through my own problems and probably when I go through it and I see it, it's like I keep seeing things that would want to support my idea. Inside. Would want to support what I'm thinking, even if it's wrong. Oh, relationship, this is wrong. This yeah, is sure. We need to understand that people like them, Bill Gates, they have their personal problem. Oh, Bill Gates is rich, but do you know him in person? You don't know him in person, but you emulate that and say, oh, because Bill Gates div yeah, can divorce, sure. then I can divorce. Oh, he's sure. rich. Yeah. Money is not everything at the end yeah, of the day. That's, yeah. why we, that's why we still go back to the standard. Yes. If you look at, if you look at yourself in depth and know that, Mm -hmm. I have my problems. Yeah. I'm owning to my problems and understanding my problems. Yes. And my partner knowing my flaws. And not just judging me from the media or judging me from the current um, yeah. societal so. view. Um, it, it would help foster a better relationship. Mm -hmm. Well, who am I to say? They say our mother suffered or our mother suffered because of, uh, um, back in the days our parents, uh, the men were more of control the takers yeah, but yeah. when you, then you look at the quality of their relationship in some aspects some i'm not i'm not saying all because i do not condone um some certain things some some part look, i do i do not condone narcissism i don't condone a lot of things some men do you understand you still give women the right but you look at the quality of relationship of people in the 80s the 70s mm. and you look at what we see now it's very scary to get. It's married. scary. It's, it's scary. scary. You look at okay. Yourself and say, no, so, mm -hmm. I don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be part of this institution. Mm. TJ. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So remember, like, I, I want us to also bother this on influence, mm. the influence, current generational influence, and I'm happy that we are actually narrowing this down to a lot of things that has to relationship. Mm. So, but the next question I want to ask is, I mean, like, when it comes to, like, standards. Mm -hmm. Standards, for instance, yeah. you know, you ask, you, you ask a young woman or a young man out there, what was the standard when it comes to relationship? Because standards should be something that we should look at to pattern to what we want. You understand what I'm saying? So wh wh where are we looking at? Who are we looking at? Because sometimes they even, nobody even knows who to look at. And they just go to the internet and just want to just get meet people that, because they have like, I mean, this validation of people having lots of, you know, people following them, the celebrities and all of that. And probably, you know, I also want to correct this, that somebody is good at something yeah. does not mean that they, they are good in everything. Yeah. 
let's say I'm a, let's say for instance I'm an athlete mm -hmm. and I run very well. Yeah. And this I've got like so many good medals in my life. Mm -hmm. So people are gonna use me as their model. Do you know that? Yeah. But the thing is, even if people are using me as their model, it's their own responsibility to choose what they will learn from me. So if I have a failed relationship, you you can't come and copy that from me. And I I don't want to sell that to you as well. Yeah. If I struggle with that. But if you want to learn about sports, I'm happy to leave you on that. You understand? So what I'm trying to say is that at the end of the day, that's my personal opinion. If you're following somebody or something, you love somebody, you have to be able to have your future to be able to know yeah. what you want to learn from this person. It's not like because the person might have like 10 million views, whatever, followers and all of that. But that person is a pastor, an imam, or anything. Yeah. Like, a religious figure. If you don't mind, like you, you, you're talking about standard. I feel like some people have um, when it comes to humans, because we come from different um place um phase of places, um some people are guided by religion view, right? And I would still say I would still say even at that, mm -hmm. even at having your beliefs, your belief systems, and mm -hmm. knowing this is what is tolerable, but there should be a minimum requirement. There should be a minimum requirement. There should be a minimum requirement, requirement. regardless of your spirituality. Regardless of wherever we come from, that minimum requirement deals with things like commitment. Mm, commitment. Yeah. Okay. Be committed to your relationship. Mm -hmm. Even even when the view of the world portrays that when you see or meet these things, mm -hmm. then you should true it in the air no mm. commitment is commitment. something we feel even even in general things you see this generation we're not committed to stuff yeah um yeah when things get hard ah jobs mm. yes ah, no, i can't mm. do this yeah uh, they say the gen, gen, gen z gen sickness z, like yes. oh if you talk to us and yeah we're gonna people are not committed to stuff i'm not saying when you're suffering i'm not saying when it's a, bad you're not saying when there's a red flag yeah when there's a red or you maybe you see your your partner is um maltreating your beating even yeah, emotionally mental yeah, so there's a lot of there's a lot of torture different type of physical mental but people always attribute mm. the minimum and when they see things that they know they can sit down and mm. fix and mm -hmm. communicate and mm -hmm. talk about it and navigate no they rather go to the media and say oh you know what this celebrity, this is what happened to him. The boyfriend cheat. The, the boyfriend did this. The boyfriend did that. The girlfriend did that. And no, I cannot take this from a man. I cannot. Come on. You know the one that baffles me. Yeah. Because um, I knew how I was when I met my partner. Mm. I barely had even hundred dollars in my bank account. Oh wow. But what annoy, what amazes me, mm -hmm. is that you're gonna see a girl. Who even comes from a family that can't even afford what she's looking for? <laughs> You're going to see a guy who comes from a family that, he, that can't afford what he's asking for. And they go out there and they're looking for a figure to get into a relationship be, just by the, their, their, own measuring, their own measuring hand is how much do you have? Yeah. Can you take care of me? Can you do this? Can you do that? You understand? This goes both ways. I'm not saying just for the female, even for the male. Yeah. So, and these things are created from the internet. Yeah. Because we see people saying something like, you know, you just uh, get some media channels, you say like, uh, if the person cannot buy me probably um, a, a G-Wagon, because the person cannot buy me a this, this yeah, we can't, you can't talk to CBS me. Before you talk to me, you need to at least drop. Do you know there was a guy that told me that he met a girl and he said, can we go out on a date politely? And the girl said, okay, no problem. Before we go out for a date, you're going to send me money for my cortex, for my hair, and for my clothes. clothes yeah. There's somebody you're meeting for the very first time. True. I will make TJ, I was done for it. True, true, true. I, I watched something recently. Uh, <laughs> China, um, Where is it? Um, he said, the guy said, if to have a perfect relationship, ladies, but I still put it to males too. Now make a list. Okay. You want a tall guy, you want a short guy, yeah. or you want someone with six figures in his account, whatever. Speaks good English, look good looking. When you make that list, then ask yourself if you have that. Huh. 
to you. Understand? Wow. Before you ask someone. The, this is, this is. Yeah. You got to ask yourself. This is good. This is good. That. But. Wow. But. The society will make it look like, no, you're not in the wrong place to ask. Because no one wants to come to suffer and all that. But you build together. Mm. You grow together. You understand. And I started with a question. I started with understanding your flaws. Mm -hmm. Now, flaws doesn't mean, oh, a lazy man. You know, that's out of the picture. That's out of the picture. Yeah, that's out of the picture. But knowing that I'm going into this with this person and... I see potentials. I see the yeah. value in this person. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to build with this person. Mm -hmm. Regardless of what the society brings at us, regardless of what we read, regardless of what we see, you stay committed. You stay committed. And that's commitment, yeah. People would talk. Mm -hmm. People would say that's, that's the internet. That's what it says. Media. That's what I'm saying. The media, media. the media will promote movies. There are movies that you watch sometimes and you ask yourself, like, What's... what the hell am I even doing? Why I'm, am I I'm... seeing this? Why is this a norm? Why is this so morally so, depressed? Decency, a lot of things out gone. of it. A lot of things gone. And a boy music people will come out and say, You know what? Um, if I got one, I got another one coming on the way. Yeah, if you don't want girl straight, yes. like. Now you see the new generation. The new generation is that they 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 said, "Do your parents know that you are going through problems in your relationship that they've not even seen in their marriages?" Mm. Mm. And that's what the society is now because of the influence. I'm telling you, a thirteen year old will be telling you I'm heartbroken, or a twelve year old will be telling you, "Oh, relationship is hard. I can't trust." A ten year old will be telling you, "Oh, my boyfriend is." And you ask yourself, like, what's what is happening? going on? Because, you know, like, during our time... Anyway, I'm not that old anyway. <laughs> I've only been... I'll be at least... I'm getting to my, my third decade. They're about... So, but what I want to say is... At that particular level... Do you think there's this particular level? That, at least as a person... Yeah. Before you even start talking about relationship. Mm -hmm. I know I know the, the internet has really caused a lot of... Both mm -hmm. the good and also the bad. Mm -hmm. Now we see a 10-year-old who is supposed to be focused on building your life, talking about uh, my, my girlfriend, you know, dealing with relationship thing, mm -hmm. 14 years old and all of that, you know, 13 and all of that. Do you think that there's, you know, these are personal opinions. I mean, guys, you guys can go to the comment section and also share your yeah. opinions, all right? Because we're just intermingling with our thought here. Mm -hmm. And we want to find out the balance and the truth at the end of the day. All right. So if you're watching, please make sure you like, share and, and subscribe. subscribe. So TJ, back to business. So what do you think? Is there a particular stage or level where a young person could, should be able to start integrating and coming into a relationship or something? Um, for me, I would say there is a time and place for everything. Now, love has no bound. You know, you could genuinely meet someone at 10 and just have that interest. I'm not saying sexual interest, but... Um, yes. This generation has normalized things that we run out, and it's not creating a good precedent for the next generation. We'll have a lot of broken homes, we'll have a lot of messed up people, we'll have a lot of people with trauma that they can't deal with because it started early. Yeah. And they're leaving it, and it becomes their reality for too long. Imagine a ten year old having trust issues. Mm. What do you think that person will grow up to be? Oh God. But there are interventions, right? Yeah. Support, but out of them out of a hundred, maybe maybe eight or ten will have that intervention or even twenty, let's say. Yeah. Many in eighty, what do you do mm. with that? Mm. Keeps on multiplying. Yeah. And he said there's a saying that before you go into a relationship Look at your partner's parents. Yeah. <laughs> because uh -huh. there's just a way that we automatically, kind of, not all the time, end up being like our parents. It's, you know, you know, like it's it's quite valid to some extent because most behavioral patterns yeah can come from and you know conditioning of a young boy or young yeah. girl can come from their parents. Yeah. You understand? So there is a little bit of truth in that. So influences. On the media, I'm not saying people are perfect. I'm not saying parents are perfect. Yeah. I'm not saying that um, we can't get it wrong. But I'm saying 
the norm today of taking what the media throws at us and making it and if and putting it in our daily lives and making it um part of how we treat people or how we deal with relationship it's something we should actually sit down and face mm. let's get back to reality mm. let's be human again you know let's just be human again we don't we don't have to make people because we keep creating a generation of hurt we keep creating a generation of broken of people broken people yeah um so we can we can we can now we're coming this is the conclusion now we're bringing a balance Okay, so I would like to say this to you before um, I give you the floor to make your conclusion. So, it, because I have, no, I have discovered that it is most of the things in our lives are, are a direct result of influence. <clears throat> Why do I say that? Whether you, are, you have your financial life, your relationship life, spiritual life, and all of that. They are all, you are all influenced in one way or the other. It might say relatively. Mm. And that influence determines how you process those places for yourself. So in terms of relationship, the influence people are getting, meaning if the person is good to good at going to the internet and seeing what people are saying, or probably if the person probably have a spiritual gathering, a spiritual call or something, that influences how the person handles the relationship do you understand what i'm saying so that that is what we're actually talking about so what's your balance in all of this the balance is actually like i said being human mm -hmm. your conscience your mm -hmm. feelings mm -hmm. your emotions should be intertwined with good morals mm -hmm. knowing that Knowing when to cross the line, yeah. Knowing when to, knowing when to, understand that you're dealing with another entity mm -hmm. or entities, mm -hmm. not just taking a norm from the society, okay, and judging everyone, or just having a standard that looks like, you know what, I'm uh, just gonna, oh, that's bad. Yep. Bless you, sorry. I'm just having a standard yeah. that would um caught across everyone regardless mm -hmm. of how the people treat you sure and you know we meet people in different stages of our lives we meet people in different places yeah but we should not treat people as common mm -hmm. we should treat relationship friendship family based on the individuals yeah sure with love kindness and understanding yes having that moral and sense that you know what I am not what the society say about me. Sure. Now, when you see people who do not deserve that, it's a different case scenario. Yeah, sure. There's because I know, like there. I said, I do not condone. stand for, condone um, the wrong things. Some people are just full of hurt or hate. But when you meet people who are genuine or you start up a normal relationship or friendship or in your family or bonds... Treat it like you're human. Like we'd say, humans are not perfect, but let's not make our imperfection become a defect. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. We have our imperfection, but not making it a defect and normalizing defects. And that's why we keep on having problems. So the balance is love, understand, mm -hmm. communicate. Mm -hmm. To not let the media, mm -hmm. the same media we're using, yes. do not let the media influence, <laughs> influence your judgments on yeah, people. Yeah. Do not let the media create a barrier between your mind and how you deal with people. Because you lose people, you see people, we lose, con we lose connections, we lose family because of what we think is the norm of the society sure anyway um thank you so much for that that's a good balance that's a good one um so to be honest um this is um we have a list here yeah. and but because of time we're gonna be you know closing up the curtain at this stage mm -hmm. i hope i was a better host today in a way <laughs> uh i say so it's a little you know relationship stuff is relative so most people would most people would say ah oh, 
okay, this guy's okay. Well, I think he did. I think he did justice. <laughs> guys, we know we have gonna... a series coming, like the series of yes, this, yeah. the influences, and um, yeah. it's gonna be good to have a view of what people think. Cause you no, know, yeah. we're coming up with the other one with um, money, okay. um, money, and um, um, decency, decency yes. in the society, yeah. and um, it's um. It's a good one, I think. It's a good one. So, um, guys, thank you for watching today. Yeah. And please, um, I didn't as much as to share our personal opinions. Yeah. And we do hope you share yours because this is, um, as much as we're doing this, this is education yeah. and entertainment. Okay. So That's we what we're never, doing. We can never be correct. So we can never be 100% correct. Yes. Yeah, but so. we're giving our own opinion. We go through the comment section and we learn a lot. Yeah. And also do us a favor by sharing this video, yeah, like, like this video, and, and subscribe. subscribe. Most thank importantly. You. All right, so we look forward to seeing you next time. Yeah. So, TJ, what do you have to say? Your last words? Um, be human. TJ, <laughs> are, you, are you from where? From Delta. I You're from Delta. Delta. Can, you, can you tell our audience how are you in Delta? Mavo. Mavo. I mean, I'm from Ibo. Yeah. Keki Yes. Yeah, so All right, we're going to say bye to you guys. Ciao. TJ, you want to say something? Was, You're done. Yeah, you just made me stop. Uh, bye. <laughs> See you. Catch you in the next episode. <laughs> bye.